I think somewhere along these edges is one. Anything else? Nope, okay. There's an in coupon, like right here in front of the inn. Kinda hard to see, but it's like right there. Uh, nah, I probably shouldn't use it. It's the last shine sprite. Yep. Surprises. I wonder if I'm gonna get an email about that. I wonder if I needed to talk to Frank Professor Franklin first. Bobber isn't er not Bobber, General White isn't even here first. This is kind of a cool thing here. Uh if you sell fire flowers, they sell for more because it's a cold place. You can also buy uh shoon stars. Although you can get them if you get thunder rages and cook them with uh, point swaps. I'm good. And you can also get space food here if you take a nap here. What do you mean by local? <laughs> this place is super far away from Roport. Okay, I guess I gotta go talk to Professor Franklin. At least I can uh, at least rank up Mao's. Oops. I meant to walk to by beside him, not in front of him. I think with this I can uh, get a level up at least. Double XP? Ah, Merle! <laughs> Every time I need it, she never is there. I think once I hit 60 BP, I might uh, cool down on, <laughs> on upgrading it, because I think that's enough. Oh, we're an A-list now. Gonna get even more hazards. Move down. Yes. I think I'll just have Yoshi gulp him. That's right, I was gonna go rank up, uh, what's her face, and then talk to Professor Frankly. Now I remember what his name was. I kept calling him Franklin. I guess he's a close, pretty close to his name, but not actually his name.
There's only one I can do. Dude, I can't do it anymore. I don't know why it gives me that prompt. Well, I mean, if I can rank them up again, I would, but I can't. Mouse, we've already been there. Hopefully they make it obvious that you need to use Boppery. Because I did get kind of stuck on that. Oh, you know what? Since I'm here... Let's look at some lore. I'll go through all these. Dragons and dungeons. Oh, it's cool they talk about the three dragons. I do wonder what did happen to Hooktail, because her body remains aren't there.
Cursing, huh? Where have we heard that before? I guess that makes sense why it's in the great tree. Not only punies are the key to giving it back. Oh, that explains how the chest is over there. So it was the boo. Arrow went okay. You can talk about the curse that's over there. Oh, so he was the one who, who had to, like, he wanted to give his spiel so bad. Amara didn't want any of it. Oh, that's how the Crystal Star got there. That's interesting. Read that again. So, where was this one located? In a secret place known to no one? So, that either has to be the sewers or inside Hooktail's castle. Because then that must mean the Goomba was sealed in the sewers. Oh, that's it. Cool, that was cool. I never uh, read those before, so that's really cool to listen to. Or to read, I guess. The music for it is good to listen to. Love me a good accordion. But that's really cool though, because it, it really helps with the world building of this game. Because you find out why there are those black chests all over the place. How the crystal stars got to where they were. And, you know, there's the whole thing with the Shadow Queen. It's really nice. And it's all optional too. Now that part, I don't know if people would agree that's cool if it's optional. Now you never get to actually figure out the story and the lore of the game, but I think games that hide their lore... Okay, now it's now it shows it because I guess we did the, fr the flag with uh, Frankly. Yeah, um, a lot of good games have their lore hidden there, so... 
like Dark Souls, I think, does that. I never played a Dark Souls game, but I know that a lot of the lore is hidden by a lot of stuff in the game that you wouldn't really notice, like item descriptions. And Bug Fables has a lore hidden in uh, books in a library. Because it's not too surprising. <laughs> the the three uh, toad girls are frozen, or not frozen, but like shivering. Hmm. Oh, I never noticed that the <laughs> we have our breaths. That's cool. I think I might have noticed that in the original, but I just didn't pay attention to it now. <laughs> the sound they're making. I love how she's mad. There used to be this sound in this soundtrack where it sounds like a howl, but I don't really hear it anymore. So I'm gonna have Vivian out because uh, I wanna see if he gives us the hint here that we need Bobbery. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, because I completely forgot about this and I actually had to use more lovely to figure out what I need to do next. We gotta go on a general white hunt. Yay! <laughs> Everyone's favorite! Okay, um... I guess I go talk to Gold Bob, and maybe he might give me some idea of where he is. I forget if I have to talk to Gold Bob or. Uh, talk to somebody in Pedalberg? It's one of those two. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Thought I was gonna get out of here scoff free. Um, I guess I'll do, yeah, I'll just do Art Attack. Could do Showstopper, but I think this might be faster. We gotta go to the warp room. Really wish they gave us access to uh, the warp point for this chapter. 
Because it would be nice. But obviously not going to do it because they already set a precedent that it has to be the chap after you beat the chapter. So let's go to Poshley Heights first. Dr. Gold Bob. I hope they make more like a like a Russian theme music for this because like the bob bombs are supposed to be like kind of Russian based. So hopefully they do something like that because Russian music goes pretty hard. I think you're supposed to choose this option. That's fine, dude. I just need to sell a couple of dried shrooms and I'll be back up in no time. I mean, he's pretty rich already. I don't think he just needs my money. Do you know where uh, Bob or General White is? Okay. But how do you get inky sauce? You're missing a step here. I don't think anybody would know how to get inky sauce. I mean, I guess you could do it through trial and error, but... How would you know to, to make a hot sauce or something? It should have said, you can get mixed it with fresh pasta and inky sauce. And to get inky sauce, you just need hot sauce and some sort of juice. Or they could just say tasty tonic. I guess we'll go here first. I think I'll talk to the mayor. You might have an idea. Who do I talk to here? Him? That's what I would guess. Because the rest of the toes just kind of look like they don't have anything important to say. Oh my god! General White went to Angel Island. He's over there with Knuckles. It's gonna be Paper Mario Thousand Door with Knuckles. I think I talked to the uh, the bar owner. He's not Podly, but he's like Pod Bar or something like that. Well, now I want to know what his name is. Hmm. 
Podler. <laughs> okay, it was Pod something. I'm surprised we don't get to fight this guy. They're kind of cool. I mean, we already fought one strong toad already, so it's fine. We don't need to fight another one. This one? No, oh, we never would have guessed. Usually they're more like... I guess Podler is kind of generic too because it's just him and Podly. Where do you say we need to go? Okay. Because we need to talk to the mayor? In a Twilight Town? Maybe it is just another random NPC there. Oops. Thought I had Yoshi for a second. Oh, you know what I need to do later? I need to uh, go to the title screen. I want to see if it has Miss Mouse on the title screen. Because as you play the game, uh, it does show your new partners. Thankfully, this is right next to the pipe to Far Outpost. This is probably why they ended the this wild goose chase there. Thankfully, you don't have to go to uh, Poshley Heights for him. At least not in this goose chase for him. There's another one you have to do, but that's the trouble. And it's not as bad as <laughs> this. That'd be kind of cool if it was a brand new rock hawk, but I doubt it. I'm just gonna run away from these fights. I don't really see a point to do all this fighting. I mean, I guess I could level up, but I'm not really into that. Hopefully that's the last time I'll ever need to do that path. Because next time we'll just have the pipe. Fortunately this takes a couple of tries. He's got to keep doing it until he wakes up. You should get more and more crumpled. I 
one criticism I have seen about this game is like stuff like this. People have been viewing it as like kind of just waste your time. And I can kind of see with that one part where uh, Francesca makes Frankie say I love you a hundred times. Because the solar text boxes definitely makes that uh, a lot worse. Um, I think I might buy some shooting stars. Let me... I think I'll sell those jelly sh... Or the ultra shrooms. Bunch of these. I'll get up to like uh, seventeen, maybe. Want to have an even amount of these things? Okay, that's fine. Get ready for a long cutscene. If it's as long as it was in the GameCube version, it's gonna take a bit. I guess this part, part's kind of funny, how they have to use, uh... Well, you see it later, but then they use bob bombs as, like, ammunition for the cannon, which kind of makes sense. And I guess it would also make sense why bob bombs are so into the idea of a giant cannon, because I guess what else would bombs do besides being exploded or shot out from a cannon? Although I guess cannonballs are more so for a cannon, not bombs. I don't remember if they were part of the Mushroom Sisters. I don't remember if they were the Toad Sisters, whatever they are. Uh, I don't think they were there in the cutscene for this. I might be wrong though. But they're getting a cool sight though. I assume this doesn't happen here so often.
Looks like the game's lagging a little, or at least the frame rate dropped a little. Which is, I, I don't, yeah, that was kind of weird. Like, I understand there's a lot of sprites on there, but like, <laughs> why would it drop frames? <laughs> like, if you're going to be at 30 frames for the game, make it consistent? I don't know. I don't think it lagged in the original, and that game was 60 frames. Alright, enough of me complaining. <laughs> it just looked weird. I wonder if they say different things for the partners. I would assume so. Are they going to make it so that, uh... Oh, I have to mash out. That's kind of cool. Hopefully it's not too slow. It's pretty slow in the original, but... Maybe they will make it slow. I do like the, like, moon gravity, but... The slowness of moon gravity, I'm not too much of a fan of. Yeah, it's still pretty slow. <laughs> I like the way Mario, when he jumps, he's got a different voice line. <laughs> I love that one. I'll get the stopwatch. Free stop is pretty good. I think there is a star piece somewhere, but there's only one. Also, I like how it's just a, a comment on a metal antenna. Or not an antenna, but like a metal wire. Just to like make it like more artsy crafts. Oh, these guys. Yeah, definitely need to, uh... Any Quake Hammer. Ooh, space music, let's go. Techno music. I, I really like this one. I still think uh, Chapter 6 has the best battle music in my opinion, just because I'm a, I'm a sucker for jazz. But this is still pretty good. This is one of the few cases where having mouths is pretty good, because my defense is pretty crazy. Does the music sound quieter, though? Sounds like it's a little bit quieter than usual. Oh, I wonder where that is. <laughs> Even the coins fall slowly. It's a nice touch. Um, I guess I can, uh, use Bobbery. A uh, Vultrum? No thanks. I think even with Yoshi, though, you're still pretty slow. Oh yeah, look how slow that is. But it is still faster than, uh, walking with Mario. I think here's where I need to be. I don't know. It might be the next area over. Because that's where the uh, x -Mount Fortress is. And that's the area that has the star piece. Now, why did these guys do damage to me and not first strike me? That is so weird. They're the only enemy in this game that does that. All the Yuxes do that. It's so strange. Oh, did not mean to kill him. I'll just switch to uh, Lyobert. He'll just gulp him. Or not. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. <laughs> I think with that many rocks, I think it does three damage. Also, I like the background without the moon there. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, there is a star piece, okay. <laughs> that one floating on top of the rock is kind of funny. Uh, I need to swap to Goombella. Also, I need to get the mini yuxes that these guys spawn to. Maybe I can uh, stop them. Then swap over to Goombella. Nice, okay. There is that uh, red yux that I know that one's like immune to all statuses, so. I know <laughs> not to use stop on that guy. Z yux. I guess I'll just appeal and then wait for those mini yuxes to come out. There we go. Oh, at least I get a free heal. This is just overkill. Marley, just give me the XP, not the attack boost. Oh. Well. I guess Marley didn't like me talking shit on her. Because <laughs> she just, like, you know what? Uh, I'm taking my curse with me then. Uh, let me. What should I use? I guess I'll just use this. <laughs> Maybe a bit wasteful, but I don't care. Is it gonna let me go to the left? Like, I don't think there's anything I can do over here, but I'm just curious. It's just gonna be a wall to the screen. Okay, it's just gonna be a wall. Wow, that's crazy. Mario can jump all the way to the top of this thing. <laughs> At least that's how it looks like, but the perspective is a bit messed up. Also, I guess we're just going to ignore the fact that Mario can breathe on the moon. 